Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Kaylana the Blush Driver here. And so I'm going to call it a night here very soon. Um, it's like almost 11 o'clock. So um, yeah, it's been a long day. And as you guys know, I was in Atlanta today <laughs> and come to find out I didn't really have to go out that far, but it's cool. Cause you know, I like driving, but I wanted to share something with you guys real quick before I um, I go to bed. Cause I know I look tired. Um, I just really feel led to share this with you guys in regards to comparing yourself to other people because I am really sensing that um, a lot of people struggle with that. And I'm even uh, learning some things even as I go to church and, uh, you know, just really being taught and fed in this season. And, you know, I, I see a lot of that, especially on social media, you know, um, and, and we all do it. We all get caught up in it. It's, it's what, it is what it is. But I'm talking about like, especially seeing someone have something or doing something that we aren't doing or something that we admire that we wish we could do. And we feel like we're not good enough or we try to compete or compare ourselves to somebody else. There's nothing wrong with healthy competition. Like, you know, as far as like sports and things like that, or in marketing or knowing your competitor in business, you know, things like that. But, um, I'm just really feeling like, cause like I've gotten this quite a bit, like I don't share this because I usually don't try to focus on stuff like this, but I just feel like the need to share this now because I'm just starting to notice like I've, I've gotten some feedback from some viewers who, um, who may struggle with, uh, you know, uh, I, I hate to say envy or jealousy, but it's like, it's like competition or comparison where, uh, you know, it's like, okay, you have your YouTube channel. I'm using this as an example, like for instance, like, like I have my, my YouTube channel and then somebody else may have similar content and then it's like, they want me to follow them and I don't mind, you know, but then it's like, okay, well, you know, I see you doing what you're doing. So I want to get the same amount of followers. So I want to get this because that's what you have. And not even realizing that there's a lot of hard work to go into doing what I do, just like any other YouTuber. And, and to me, it goes beyond that because I, I, I feel kind of like when you when a person isn't secure in who they are, you're going to start to compare yourself to somebody else. And, and we see a lot of that in the entertainment industry, especially like with like a lot of people having lots of plastic surgery or, you know, they have lots of money or they're famous, but at the same time, you don't know what they've done to get where they are. And you don't necessarily know that they're happy. Like, like my pastor, like he's, he's a celebrity, he's a gospel artist, but he shared with us that he, because he's around celebrities all the time, you know, there's a lot of them that we would never, never even think that there's depressed. And so, you know, just because a person has something, you don't know what they're going through to keep it. And you don't know what they went through to even get it in the first place. And at the same time, you know, um, you don't know the kind of struggles that, <clears throat> that they may go through dealing with opposition. And so I just wanted to share with you guys, like don't ever in this lifetime ever compare yourself to anybody. Um, there's nothing wrong with trying to improve yourself or wanting to do something different or wanting to do something similar. I, I mean, it, it's fine. But uh, when you start to lose focus on what you're supposed to be doing, on what your goals are, and who God has created you to be, it becomes a distraction. And so, you know, what somebody else is doing, let God bless them with that, you know, and um, and don't don't let what somebody else is doing or not doing hinder or affect what you're supposed to be doing in your lifetime, you know, and especially the people that struggle with this the most are women. Like ladies, like we struggle with this a lot. Like we have an issue with, you know, Oh my man, she's pretty or she's thin or, you know, she has like, you know, a, a, a gorgeous husband and she has this and she has that. But, you know, especially for women, like we just have an issue with this jealousy stuff or this comparison and stuff. And so I, I think that it's really important for us to understand the value within ourselves and knowing who you are and uh, know why you're here and what your purpose is. And, you know, um, I, I just kind of feel like a lot of people are struggling with that, that whole identity crisis and stuff, because I've been through it. And, you know, and even there's some things that God is dealing with me about um, overcoming some insecurities and overcoming a mindset, you know, you, I hope you understand like what I'm saying. And so um, I just want you guys to be encouraged and uh, don't look at what other people have, what they're doing. Nothing wrong with admiring them or being inspired. And maybe, you know, you're picking back off and, you know, because of, you know, you're inspired by something, but I'm talking about when it becomes a comparison to where it makes you feel like you're not good enough or makes you feel jealous or envious or makes you feel angry or bitter or whatever, then that that's something that you need to change because a lot of it starts with here in the heart and it also goes to your mind. So even the Bible says that, so a man think it's in your heart. So is he, you know, and so um, always make sure that you keep your heart guarded and keep your mind guarded. And, um, you know, don't let negative thoughts come into your mind thinking that, you know, okay, this person's doing this or they have this. That means that I need to try to climb the ladder to get what they have. Because sometimes we're trying to climb up a ladder and it may not be meant for us. And then by the time we get up 
so high, we can't handle the pressure, you know? And so, you know, what God has for you is for you, you know, just enjoy the moment. And if something inspires you that somebody else is doing, then, then there's wrong with it, but just don't do it because you want more people to follow you or you want, um, you know, attention or because you feel like, you know, um, you know, that you're not good enough to do something else or whatever the case may be. So don't let comparison and competition drive you crazy because it can <laughs> for sure. So I just want to share that tip with you guys. And this goes for both men and women. This is also something that you might want to even talk to your kids about because I know having kids and teenagers, there's a lot of peer pressure. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, weight on them to be a certain type of way, look a certain type of way, do certain things because of what the world does. And so, um, but just continue to love on them and let them know how valuable they are. And so, um, I want to share that with y'all. I got to go. Good night. Peace.